Taurus. This is for April 2018. My name is Elijah from Wisdom Seekers. I'm going to do a spread. See how your month is going to go in a general way. So first of all, we'll start out with the Messenger Tar uh, Oracle. And now this is an interesting one. It's one I highly recommend. It's face your fears. And once you face your fears, they no longer have the ability to frighten. Uh, my my favorite deck, the deck I work with, is uh, a spiral tarot. And here we go. The spiral tarot is a nice size to fit in the hand. So, well, the first card is very good. The Three of Pentacles. It's a card of achieving. It's also reaping the benefits. So, my knowledge of Taurus is that, in general, the Taurus people have been working very, very hard the last few years, basically. So now they're going to start to reap the benefits, uh, which is really positive. Is obviously you get to celebrate because the three of three of cups is a cup of celebration. It's a card of celebration. But there's that dreaded patience card. Just know you get getting to celebrate, which means there's still more to come. There's more things happening. That you're going to uh, you're going to be aware of, but in the meantime, there is a, a great deal happening behind the scenes, even a rainbow. So basically, this card, the hangman, it's it's telling you that in the future you are going to achieve what you want because things are being set up for you. So right now things. There are events that are happening that are very positive and you can celebrate, but it's not the whole enchilada, so to speak. You're going to have to wait for the rest of it to come through. And it does look very positive, the rest of it, because this is the High Priestess. And I don't read the High Priestess in a negative way because the High Priestess is simply evolved, sees things that you cannot see and have not not got the ability to comprehend so she keeps her she keeps her secrets but it's only because she's waiting for you to evolve well obviously you are evolving and of course with you've got the major arcan uh kind of the hangman it means that there is a lot more to come but with spirituality once you've got it there's no reason for you to stay. So this means you've got a lot more living to do, which is really positive. And let's see what else we've got here. Need and necessity. That's a beautiful card, right? So face your fears. Because it is necessary, and it is a need. It's not a want, it's a need. And with you do, things will become, more, well, more abundant, of course, because you receive rewards for your benefits. It's not just spiritual rewards, it's their physical rewards, too. I mean, that's a card of abundance. This month, celebrate. It's a good good life that's, that you're occurring. And know that your spiritual life is... Is working because most of the, most spiritual life l is learned in the subconscious, and you don't know you've learned it until you turn around and start spouting off these all these major spiritual secrets to people who may not may or may not necessarily know who or what you're talking about. That's all right because you are following what you need and what is necessary for you. So allow yourself to be this month. And congratulations, this is a wonderful spread. And I will talk to you next month, uh, Taurus. 
Take care and may life be the blessing that the cards suggest.